I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just taking advantage of the air pressure and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How powerful is Earth's atmospheric pressure? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need a tin lid, a candle, a glass jar, some water, and most importantly, an adult to light the candle. The very first thing that you're gonna wanna get is a tin lid. I like the round ones because you can play frisbee with them. Woo! <laughs> now it's on the roof. But that's okay because I come prepared. Woo! Oh, that's right. It's on the other side. <laughs> Last but not least, you're gonna get yourself a pickle jar. Empty pickle jar here. It just doesn't seem to work with a full one. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Place your candle on the tin and then pour in some water. Okay, it's very important that you get an adult to light the match. It broke. It broke. And the candle too. Because although I might not get burned, you could! Oh, I got burned! Now have an adult light the candle, and you can place the glass jar over the candle. Whoa! Now that was so cool! So cool! Cool! So, why does the water rise up? Well, the answer isn't here. You might want to grab your candle and shine a little light on this. Air is held to the earth by gravity. This strong invisible force pulls the air downward, giving the air molecules weight. The weight of the air molecules exert pressure upon the earth and everything on it. When the candle burns, it heats up the air inside the jar. This hot air expands and some of the air escapes out the bottom of the jar. When the candle goes out after burning up all the oxygen in the jar, the inside air quickly cools, causing the air inside to contract, creating low pressure. The outside, higher atmospheric pressure pushes on the water, forcing the water up into the jar. The closer to sea level you are, the more air molecules there are that exert a higher pressure. The higher up in the atmosphere you go, the less air molecules and the less pressure exerted. This is the reason why airplanes pressurize their cabins to ground pressure and is why water boils faster in the mountains. So now you know that air has a good amount of pressure. You know, seeing air push water is why science it's so cool.